We are out here today because everyone is sad, troubled and pained when we witness bloodshed on all sides of the conflict. We need to realize that these events taking place the last couple of days didn't start this week. It didn't start last week. This unfortunately is going on already for about a century, way before the creation of the State of Israel. As human beings, we should be pained and we should be concerned when we see an unending cycle of bloodshed where peoples from all sides are suffering and are losing lives. But if we want to see a better future, if we want to reach a lasting peace, we have to realize, search what the real cause of all of this is. The cause of this conflict, the cause of these bloodsheds, is not because of the difference of religions. There were differences between Judaism and Zionism for the past 1400 years. And this was not a problem. This was not a cause for conflict and for bloodshed. Jewish people lived in many Muslim countries as a minority, as a small minority, in peace. One beautiful example is Palestine. We lived in peace. We were respected and protected by the majority of Muslims. Why was this changed? And when was this changed? Once this invention of Zionism came in, with a, an agenda of overtaking the power, oppressing the indigenous population, obviously a conflict arose. We don't condone violence, but we have to be realistic. Nothing else could have been expected from this brutal, decades-long oppression an occupation. Yeah! Yeah! Again, again, no one enjoys conflict. No one chooses war. And no one wants to see bloodshed going on for a lot for, 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 for these decades. We have to realize what is going on. The state of Israel in no way represents all Jews. There are masses of Jewish people today in Palestine who are embarrassed, who are troubled, who are so upset from everything what's going on for these decades. Masses of Jewish people in the United States and the world over oppose this occupation in its entirety. Because we are religious Jews, because we follow our religion, we oppose the State of Israel, the movement of Zionism, and this ongoing occupation. According to basics of Jew Jewish belief, Jews are in exile and, and are forbidden to make our own sovereignty even without any additional crimes. But when this happens in Palestine, by killing, stealing, oppressing an entire people, this is not only a violation of international law. This is a true violation of Judaism. We have a secular movement of Zionism. Its founders were outspoken heretics. So are their leaders today. And they dare to misuse that very religion they refuse to follow misuse it to justify those crimes and those actions forbidden according to Judaism.
We blame the occupation forces. We blame the state of Israel for endangering, for harming the Palestinians and endangering the Jewish people. We have to realize that this occupation has to stop in its entirety to bring justice for the oppressed Palestinians and to bring safety and security for the Jewish people. Yeah! Yeah! We pray and we hope that this criminal state of Israel, this anti-Jewish state of Israel, and this unjust occupation stops today. We hope this stops peaceful with no more suffering of anyone involved. And at that time, we can expect to witness once again that beautiful peace that it existed in Palestine and in many other parts of the world. Thank you very much. Yeah.